Hey guys, uh, we, we went ahead and bought that school bus by the way and uh, it's huge, really really big. In fact, here it is. Look at that. 89,000 on the clock, uh, it was 1700 to buy, uh, 30 something foot. Uh, really beautiful inside and the engine is really clean. Uh, as you can see there, we got it from this the guy who did uh, river rafting and he used it to transport the people. So it's only been used for that, really well maintained. And uh, yeah, very cool. Have a look inside. So, oh yeah, I'm liking the yeah. door. Cool. I'm liking the door. Uh, Tim was uh, kind enough to Drive it back for us and do a very good job. No. Oh. No. Come on, buddy. Uh, Family <laughs> vacation, taking the bus. That's cool. So, what we're going to do is probably take these seats out. And then we're going to go from there. It's tricky. A little bit under the skill, I think. I'm sure it is. Do you want to set that? I don't know how to use it. You stand right here. Well, it's not that you know how to use them. It's the fact that they run out of air and you overuse them. When you lose air, they stop. Nah. So it. the windows don't work. Yeah, that one doesn't. <laughs> I can't get it back up. Oh, you're happy. I've never yeah. sat yeah. in the bus driver's seat. <laughs> Me either. Stay here and don't go Very down the cool. stairs by yourself. Sorry, what were you saying? I was just saying, if we put the bed in the back, we can sleep from head to toe lengthwise with the bus. Yeah. Because then our bed is not going to take up the whole width of the bus. We'll still have some room over here. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, like that much area to do something with, right? Yeah. <clears throat> because you got the wheel wells right there, too. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with those. And I think. Well, can I place the bedroom on the windows? We left like two windows for the bedroom. That's way too small for the bedroom. Is it? A bed won't fit. You won't fit in two windows. Not really? laying down lengthwise, no. What do you look, think? Three windows? I mean, that's quite big. But I mean, because we still got the... You um... can't have the whole three windows because of the wheel well there. So you've got those two plus that, right? Those two plus that one. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And the wheel wells right there so we stop the bedroom there yeah and then we can have that as a workspace because we can build boxes around the wheel wells okay and those could be like tables for work area yeah so we're already taking quite a bit almost a quarter of the bus for the bedroom <clears throat> because remember we've got we've got the um we've got the the loo and the uh shower uh, then, how much, how much will the shallow and the shower take up windows wise? Not that much because the shower will be standing square shower like. So we'll put one on each side? Yeah. Yep. Okay. How much, what do you reckon with the uh, rest? So we'll have kitchen next I suppose. Yeah. Kitchen. We wanna... Kitchen, one side of the kitchen can fit in two windows. Mm -hmm. Because kitchen area, we're going to try to get tiny stove, right? Yeah. And a little a sink. And then the other side of the kitchen can be hopefully some more counter space and some storage space we're going to need for dishes and things like that. Okay. And then really got, that gives us this left. Here. That gives us this left for like traveling and living space, which is three windows. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, but I think we can need to get the dimensions down with the floor plan, like we were talking about using that template. Yeah. Because I think it's going to be a lot easier to buy it up. Okay. I've just been bitten by a mosquito. And I don't think we should have a concrete floor plan until we get all these seats out and we can actually mark it off. Mm -hmm. Because we need to actually be able to sit in the space, turn around in the space, and know what it's going to feel like. Okay. Because if you have a floor plan that and something ends up being too small, are you going to know it's too small until you get it built? Yeah. So you get the seats out then? Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. Uh, shall I have a quick look at the uh, 
problem we're having with the seats. <clears throat> so, what we have here is we've taken out some uh, some of the bolts here and here, but the bolts that are left are fused underneath. So, I'm probably going to need to take an angle grinder to it, apparently. That's what we've heard. But that's a lot, a lot of chairs to go through. I just think we should try that other stuff first. Yeah, underneath the bus. It's written in there. I, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. I see, um, there's some bolts up there. And they're really, really hard to get to. And there's, they seem to be fused with some rust on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try, I'm going to try putting some of this on it. It's a long shot, but it might work. And then I'm going to clamp onto it with this. And then Whitney's going to try and undo it from the top. So let's see what happens. Go right back. Go. The uh, WD-40 didn't work, so we've got these. What? I'm just talking the video. Oh. Uh, we've got these, and going to uh, lock it on, because we've just realized it worked. Well, Tim uh, showed us how to use these, because I tried to use these before, and uh, I was just using my hand, and didn't realize there's a locking mechanism on the bottom, so we can keep hold of the, uh, the nut while uh, Whitney, in the bus, turns the bolt. So, I'm going to do that, and they show the results. Oh, I'll have to add our beer opener to our toolbox, won't we? Yeah. Well, this is how it works. The bastard thing. Now, apparently we've got a locker down the bottom, which is what I wasn't doing. Um, how long were we doing the bolt for? We've worked like four hours out of our day on getting bolts out and two were stuck and we probably got out about like five or six other ones. Yeah. Which is not a lot. We just worked so long on the ones that wouldn't come off that... And this one here we can't get out so we're going to try that now. Well, well look, this will help. <laughs> Beer, hopefully. Frustration reliever. Yeah. <laughs> okay then, let's try this. Well, it's working. We've actually got loads of bolts out now, which is awesome. In what? Like 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah, in 20 minutes. We've gotten like four of them off. Opposed to two bolts per four hours, we got a load of bolts done in 20 minutes, which is awesome. Where's that, um, where's that tool gone? There we go. As you can see, the thing is so hard that it even breaks the bolts if this they're pulled one out too hard. Got, it got stuck in my socket here, yeah. and it broke the head of the bolt clean off, but now I've got to come, get it out of the socket. But still, at least they're coming out now, which is awesome. Brilliant tool this is. Hi guys. Hey bud. Hey Morgan. Hey. How you doing? No. I'm, I don't have a shirt on. He's <laughs> half naked. I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're celebrating. It's working now. We're, we're getting the seats out and oh, nice. it's working now. So we feel much better about Weenie, it now. Can you get us a screw or a nail? Yes, I can. Preferably a nail as long as possible. Look. It needs to be longer than that. Longer. So that I can stick something down in there. Take it with you, but bring it okay. back. Mm. Right. So what's the plan tomorrow, dear? We need to get as much done as we can tomorrow to catch up for what we didn't do today. <laughs> and we need to figure out a lighting source since the days are getting so short. That's going to decrease our work hours unless we have an efficient lighting method for both of us. Okay. Because cool. it's only, what, 6 o'clock? 6.30? It's, it's getting ready to be dark and we can't see. We've got flashlights on our, on our walkies. But mine shuts off after mine just a couple well. of minutes, which it's okay, yeah. it comes back on. But, but it's, it's really dark here under the bus. So. Yeah. But for now, this is effective, but we can't like Would really use these for hours. Would this work? That may work. Okay. Thank you, sir. Wait, that's 
That's really sharp. Okay, all right. Put a glove and, uh, on. I got a glove on. I'll just cut here. Hey guys. Well, it's the editing's a bit abrupt, isn't it? Um, that will get better as the project goes on and as I learn more about video editing. So right now you'll have to just deal with the crap. Anyway, um, this brings an episode, um, an ending to episode one. Uh, tomorrow, uh, you're going to see the bus with no seats in it. Um, yeah, which is going to be really cool. Right now, we're looking at a, uh, a floor plan. And uh, we've got a template there in Photoshop. Um, all measured up to spec. And uh, don't look at the bottom one here because that's not our bus. We're gonna, we need to change that to our bus. So, but that's for something else. Um, yeah, yeah, really excited about this project. It's coming along, isn't it? Yeah. Here. Yes, it is. So, Exciting. We're very happy indeed. So, school bus, guys. School fucking bus. Wow. School bus house. Yeah. <laughs> school bus house. <laughs> So, yeah, so, um, have a good night, uh, we're going to drink more beer, <laughs> and then get up in the morning and do more, so, yeah, look out for episode two, in a bit, ciao for now.